Artifacts are an integral part in Call of Dragons combat and the way they interact with how your marches work. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the tier list for the best artifacts for your bang for buck in the Season of Strife and pretty much just in general as well. What is up guys, Meower here back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So as usual, at the start of every season, I like to rank what I think will be the best artifacts for the season and just in general, the best performing artifacts that we've had over the previous seasons as well. So before we get this tier list started, be sure to drop the like, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. So for the artifacts, we're going to be going over like from this here, from to start to finish to see which the best artifacts are right now we also introduced a new special tier which is the s plus and i'll go in more in that as the video goes so without further ado let's get started so the first artifact that we have is the archer's master manual it's a decent artifact if you have nothing else to use c tier automatically next up phoenix eye phoenix eye is pretty strong right now as mages is pretty strong as well in season of strife however it's still a very basic artifact and the power creep is starting to catch up making it starting to slowly fall out of flavor as there are better alternatives right now <clears throat> tier of arbon is still very solid as well as a utility artifact that's why i'm putting it in the c tier as well is that Sorlin's Blade, I think? I even forgot its name because of how useless it is and how I don't really see it. C tier, pretty poo poo. Viola's Bow is our first A tier artifact that we have so far. Pretty strong overall, mainly because it gives HP and this artifact skill, Silence. Other than that, it's a pretty subpar artifact. It's got pretty good range, but it all plays around that Silence and the extra HP it gives for your Archer Legions. Springfield Feather is pretty good. It's pretty solid, it has its uses. That's why I'm gonna be putting it in the B tier, making its way up from the C tier last time. It's pretty good and the active is pretty useful in big open field fights. Same concept goes for Storm Arrows. Storm Arrows is in the B tier right now. It used to be A tier in my opinion, but now it kind of fell down, mainly because there's not really that many rivers and many places that you can use this uh, artifact in. So, all in all, pretty meh. Breath of Gigantus, still S tier, still one of the best artifacts in the game right now. However, I am not putting it in S plus tier, as that is reserved for another artifact that's slowly been redefining the meta of our open field fights and strategies in general. Kingslayer, still super strong, super solid. B tier artifact, same for... Um, what was its name even? I don't use it. Dragon Scale Armor is in A tier as well. It's still really strong, it gives HP, it gives a good shield, it gives range resistance. However, there are better alternatives for the S tier. Plus, I kind of prefer defense more than HP for my infantry because I feel like defense scales better with infantry than HP. Shadow Blades, still same concept as the Phoenix Eye, B tier, pretty basic got pretty power crept lately with the introduction of so many stronger artifacts released right now so in the b tier it goes i don't even know what this is grammar's hammer is also in the a tier right now it's shot up a little bit because infantry value is kind of increasing every single season plus the silence i mean plus the stunning gauge it has is pretty good for the open field as well it has a big aoe stun and it can go up to five people as well for four seconds. So that's pretty big. Four seconds is pretty big, especially now that long range warfare doesn't exist anymore. So you can catch these archers out of position even stronger now. Bloodbane banner, not really usable. The garrison one, not really usable. Dragon rift in the C tier goes. Fang of Ashkari in the C tier goes. Frozen ring 
in the top of B tier it goes, mainly because of the utility it provides and the value it has is immense and cannot be properly measured, especially if you use it in choke points or on crossing bridges or holding positions right there. The extra valuable seconds it buys when you are defending this bridge, for example, or this bridge or the ramp or whatever are something that cannot be underestimated and something cannot be measured by numbers. In fact, it just measures by the, how much you annoy your enemies and how much field presence you have. Art of Kamasi is in the 8th tier right now. I feel like it's a really strong artifact in general. It benefits a lot of marches, and the extra defense makes it more usable than some other artifacts as well. And I feel like it's one of the better alternatives than Gilded Crossbow for Magrid Zeta as well, because one, they don't really use rage skills, so the rage skill lock it has doesn't really affect them, and two, they can still keep moving, they can still function 100% properly, plus they get an insane buff on top of it. I forgot its name, but it's in C tier. Uh, what was this name? What is wrong with me? Why am I forgetting every single name? Goldcrest is top of A tier in my opinion. It's close to S tier, however... Eh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's S tier, maybe it's not. I just feel like it's A tier right now. I don't feel like it's an S tier because, well, Gilded Crossbow is just so much stronger than it is right now. Inferno Flame, top of A tier. Pretty strong artifact for mages, especially for Lilia Velen, because Lilia Velen right now, this season, are on absolute steroids as well. With the introduction of the Mastery Skill System as well, you can have those two just blast people from across the across the screen and just delete marches left and right. Gilded Crossbow, S tier, not much to say. Extremely strong artifact, strong utility, and a super strong passive. Visage of Sanctus, up at the B tier, it's a pretty strong artifact if you know how to use it. However, the main drawbacks of it is that it needs a very specific build to truly start shining, and you kind of need to max it to truly start seeing its true potential because its numbers are so low, but when you max it, the numbers increase drastically, plus as you set up the perfect build, it will start cycling better and it will hurt a lot more. That's why I feel like it's being held back from any higher T right now. Magic Bomb kind of fell off a cliff to be honest. It's still a good artifact to have if you have no other alternatives, but other than that, eh. Uh, Oath of Storm Peak received a rework recently and it's gotten pretty strong. I still feel like it's an incredibly strong artifact now. Um, it has a good active, it has a good passive, so definitely usable if you have it, especially because it's far more flexible now. As long as you have the Forondal in your march, you can get use of its passive and you can have two marches just deleting squishies left and right. Ravel Spear, still S tier in my opinion, still pretty strong, especially after its mini changes that it had. It kind of removed a lot of the bugs it had and still kept its strength. So all in all, pretty strong artifact and big S tier up there. Strings of Silence, absolutely worthless. Spring Blades, still S tier, still pretty strong. The passive buff it has, which is the plus 30% attack, is absolutely insane and absolutely cracked. In my opinion, still probably the best or the second best cavalry artifact, or it's pretty much up there. Staff of Spring in the C tier. And now we have our first ever S plus artifact, which is Staff of the Prophet. So... I'm sure you guys have been keeping up and seeing all these wild videos and strategies that people are starting to come up with with Staff of Profit after the mini buff it received. So the way that you utilize the Staff of Profit properly is that it has to be within the same region and you can have a, a, a march you send out be cloaked, it can be flyers, it can be anywhere within the zone and you just pop out 
and pop that little bad boy in there and you teleport all five of your marches on your allies march or on your own it's just incredibly strong it opens up for a lot of more strategies and a lot of more usages that you can do with this artifact my opinion probably the strongest artifact and the most meta defining artifact that we've seen in a while all from a simple buff that happened this past patch wolf woman of Haler in b tier mirage orb still s tier still pretty strong it does insane amount of damage and the stun aoe it has is still pretty strong spirit born toric s tier nothing's really changed the new artifacts i kind of forgot the names but i feel like they're all mostly in the c tier dagger of betrayal kind of lost its value since the removal of long range warfare and the seasonal talents in general i will give the mage artifact to b tier though and the new artifact that we've had i think it's pretty much near the top of a tier the lowest end of s tier mainly because of this little debuff that it provides now that no other artifact or no other access has to it which is the tremble debuff so the tremble debuff is essentially a lock for anyone to do anything it pretty much stops them into place stops them from generating uh it stops them from casting rage and ca stops them from casting normal attacks so all in all incredibly strong mainly because of this debuff other than that it's a pretty solid artifact it does good damage it does insane amount of damage actually it has an insane three target physical damage factor up to 4400 and the stat profile is pretty decent gives decent attack decent legion defense but all in all that's pretty much it for the artifact tier list for sos do you agree do you disagree do you have different opinions please let me know in the comments down below or join the discord the link is in the description i would love to have a discussion with you guys about this but other than that thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video if you did please be sure to drop a like don't forget to subscribe join the discord the link is in the description have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video meow, meow. If you enjoyed this video, click here to watch the next video. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow.